Okay. Okay. So, uh, guys, as I did mention that all my training start with an icebreaker. Here, I would like to give you an example before we go ahead with questions and probing technique. So, the so imagine I want you all to imagine that we are all traveling and the distance that we travel is over 24 hours. So now imagine that you're traveling in a train. How do we normally wake up when we uh, get up in the train? I want you all to write your response, uh, stud students. I'm sure most of you when you're traveling. Okay. In trains. So what do you wake up with is what you see, right? Right. Okay, so common answers that you would uh, give me is uh, do you, the moment train stops at the station, we get a jerk and we normally get up and then some of you have mentioned that you are, it's a habitual practice. You get up at 6 in the morning. Other, okay, when the train stops, right? And some of you put alarm and say that, ah, okay, finally it's time to wake up. Some announcements, okay, great. When we see the light outside, we wake up, of course, yes. Okay, now let me give you an example here. Okay, thanks for your participation team, really appreciate it. Imagine there's this first person who serves us tea or coffee and he travels from one compartment to the, to the other. So he, of course, offers like this. He says tea and then he moves to another compartment and he says tea, tea. And there is this second person who takes tea or coffee right from the pantry and he's walking uh, fast and he uh, says this way, like tea, fresh tea, flavored tea, morning tea. So who do you think would you prefer buying tea from? The first person who's serving you or from the second person and why? What is the reason? And when do you think you're going to wake up? Okay, I'm waiting for your response. Okay, second person, second person because he has more choices, okay. Only two of uh, the, you people, a team have answered, Priyanka says second one as he's selling in a different manner, of course, great. Anyone else? It depends on the time I wish to have. <laughs> it's a marketing style, the second person. Okay, I know. Okay, great, uh, students. So I would like to add to whatever you've uh, mentioned here. It, there is a lot of energy in the person who had uh, to give or serve you tea, coffee in the morning. There, he was sounded enthusiastic. And then, of course, the marketing skill, the creativity is definitely called for. So... Before we go ahead and do these questions and start analyzing an Excel sheet, it is important to understand how effective questions are as a part of we being effective communicators. And it makes a lot of difference into when people prefer us rather than talking or talking to other people who do not sound that effective. Okay, so let's get started probing. So I'll define this particular thing. Probing is, of course, called as questions. There are two categories of questions, open-ended and closed-ended. So how do we start asking questions? We use these words, which are who, what, when, why, where, how, and whom. Okay, so there are these questions are also classified into three major categories. We call them specific questions, general questions, and leading questions. Fine. Uh, questions help to build credibility. It makes an excellent opportunity to build rapport with the other participants and improve our relationship. Okay, uh, students, now we are going to look at the exercise sheet. And I will, uh, re I request you all to interact with me on this particular exercise. I will let you know what we are going to do next. Please give me a, a moment here. Excel sheet.
okay team uh, so here is the exercise exercise sheet we've categorized the types of questions into four categories we start off with general questions then we have uh, one moment uh, how does a person think to know whether the person thinks on a positive note or to get to know basically the other person well so we have these uh, questions later we link these questions to interview related questions and finally we uh, come across open ended questions and closed ended so let's get started we'll start off with the general questions now what we are going to do is i want you all to view this file for 5 minutes and i'm going to give you an exercise a role play to do with me where you are going to be the executive i'll be your customer and then we're going to use these questions in that particular uh, call the mock call that we're going to start so take 5 minutes and if you have any questions or any uh, questions that typical you do not have any answers please do let me know so that we can form an answer for that right away Okay team I hope you all uh, got a chance to view this excel uh, sheet of uh, questions so now what we are going to do is we are going to start with this mock call so whoever wants to participate please uh, send a text or raise your hand or you could unmute yourself we want to hear you out you raise your hand team so that we can then unmute you and i think the intent is for you to ask priya the questions right uh as a sales call or probing it's all right correct on anything like you've been in all days what's so, the purpose priya uh, uh, right i'll thank you kartik i'll just give you an overview see this particular call no it will be like a practice call where you would be the agent at any caribbean holidays or steak cocks and kings or take any pizza hut and i'll be your customer so you'll call me with certain questions take my details so we would just like you to participate number one and second is try to check your probing skills how effective that is so and we want to unmute your team so whoever raises the hand we can go forward with that and again it's just uh, we're getting started with this program so we want everyone to be verbal and start to speaking out so go to webinar you can raise your hand or you can put in chat that i want to go for it
Alright, Muhammad, should I unmute you? Who else? Team, come on. Not charity. You're not going to do it on chat. You have to speak. Who wants to go first? Thanks, Kumar. So. Okay, thanks, Kumar. And then we have Kushal. So I'm going to unmute Kumar. Okay, so Kumar, hi. So uh, the scenario will be you are from a holiday company, right? Okay. And you call them to, you know, sell or, you know, ask the customer, is she willing to travel or... Holiday yeah, for a package, holiday package. You're fine? Are you clear with the concept? Can you please repeat one more time? Sure. So, Kumar, the concept uh, scenario is you are from any of one of the holiday companies. You will call the customer and tell them that this is the package oh, we are offering. So, uh, would you like to take it and how would you like to get billed? Where, what's the shipping address? You know, basic general questions. So, we are ready when once you are ready, please let me know when we could start. So, you are, I am assuming you are as a customer. Correct. Okay. So, Priya, uh, this is a call from Holiday Inn. Okay. And, uh, I want to uh, introduce yourself and uh, just I wanted my offer to be explained. Like, you know, I have an offer in my... Okay. Today, Umar, can you today. speak up a little bit? I, I can hardly hear you. A little louder, please. Little louder, please. Okay. Today, I'm, my name is Kumar. I'm from Holiday Inn. And I want to introduce my package. Okay. Uh, it is in, in offer. Today is the last day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you please uh, just explain about your background? Loud background. Waiting away. Closer, please, to the mic. But again, you're doing it good, but little closer, please. Is that right now okay? Shall I connect to phone call? No, you're good. Just speak a little loud, louder and come closer to the system, maybe. Okay. Now, now is it okay? Yes, now it's fine, Kumar. Please continue. Okay. I wanted uh, to explain about the offer right now running. Today is the last day now, Priya. So just, are you interested in taking and just give me a minute. I want to explain about the offer. All right. Running. All right. So, okay, so just give, give me the... Uh, five okay. and that is only 9.99 for today. Are you that interested? sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kumar, tell me where all can we travel, like a holiday in, right? What's the location? That's in Goa right now, we are dealing with, and it's under 999 for five days. Now okay. It is the last day to join this offer. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, please let me know, because I just fixed your number. Okay. I'm just selecting you as a first customer. Mm -hmm. Let this offer to you. Okay, great. So I understand you the offer. We can travel to Goa, and the package costs nine ninety nine. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that is for five nights and four days, or is it like four day? I mean, five days and four nights. Five days and four nights. Okay, great. So thank you, Kumar. I definitely would like to look forward to taking the package. I would discuss this back home. And can you give me your direct number so that we can get in touch with you sometime later this evening? Yes, why not? And it's eight four seven three six three one two two two. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much, Kumar. Yeah, really appreciate it. I mean, thanks for participating. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. Fine. Okay, so okay, so uh, team. I mean, it was a very good call. A lovely participation from Kumar, where he just, of course, to spoke about the name of the company that he called on behalf of, and then he did mention about the package and took some details like my name, 
and then we could have done more on this call as in a lot of probing things like okay who all stay in your family then how do you normally go out on vacations there's a lot many things but then I completely understand this is a first interaction so I mean yeah uh, do respect to that so I think Siddharth is uh, wants to he raised his hand yeah can I try once for my side Karthik here <laughs> sure sure Karthik all right. All right. So let's try. Um, hi, this is Karthik calling you from Cox and Cakes. How are you doing today morning, Priya? I'm doing fine. Thank you, Karthik. How are you doing? Right. Excellent. Amazing. So Priya, listen, the New Year's is coming up. So did you plan anything for the New Year's? And if, you, if it's a good time now, I have an amazing deal, a vacation plan for you and your family. I want to quickly take 30 seconds of your time and discuss about it. Great, that's nice. Uh, Karthik, I haven't planned any uh, trip so far, so I am really looking forward to hear from you. Please go ahead. All right, so here's the thing. So we have a three days cruise starting from Goa to Mumbai, and you're going to be spending an amazing uh, time with you, your family. I'm not sure if you have kids, but uh, in the cruise, and the New Year's is going to be in the ocean. Okay. How does it sound for you? Mm -hmm. That sounds excellent. All right, Priya. So here's the thing: um, is is it is Goa something that you want to do um, along with your family? Right. I would love to. Many, Absolutely, I would love to go. Because we have different sales and offers depending on the number of people who are joining in. All right. Excellent. Um, so it's it's all included. It's a five thousand rupees per couple charge um, with with food and beverages. And uh, uh, I'm going to send you an SMS with the details. I'll take it forward from there. Okay, sounds good, Karthik. I'm waiting for the the SMS. And uh, thanks for telling me the charges and the package um, and the details about the package. Really looking forward and waiting for the SMS. And uh, can you tell me, like, uh, if at all we want to travel uh, from Goa, so can we take Cox and Kings, or that would be like something personal? Uh, so once you arrive at Goa and then we take care of everything right from airport pickup, the cruise, the hotel, the stay and then drop back at the airport. So okay. you just have to arrive there at Goa on the 29th evening. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Priya. Yes. All right. Guys, I did a bad job. Not amazing. <laughs> that was really fantastic. I think it was really nice to get so much of information here. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, huh, one moment. So, uh, see, team, this is the way we actually looking at you to participate. And uh, don't please don't feel shy. Okay. So, shall we start with Siddhant? Siddhant. Okay. Yes. So Siddhant, can you hear, hear us? Okay, great. So uh, no, we cannot hear you. Sorry. I should be saying Karthik, you take my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Siddhant's mic is not working. Okay. So no. Someone else said they wanted to go next. Kushal, I guess, right? Kushal, we'll, we'll let, let us unmute you. Siddhant, maybe in the meanwhile, why don't you try and uh, see if you can come to a better mic? Okay, great. Uh, so, Kushal, I think he was there. Okay. Hello. Uh, hi. How are you doing? I'm Smith Priya. This, um, this is a Kushal Patel. I'm calling from. Uh, um, ABC restaurant and we have wonderful offer for you for 31st night and uh, we have uh, also night uh, which is a wonderful DJ on 31st night great okay. we are planning to big party on 31st and also we have uh, if you have a uh, like baby or something we can take care of the baby too okay so that's I would like to I like to join the 31st party for this year. Okay.
we have um, like for the couple packages uh, $200 for the night and uh, 400 for uh, two couples. Okay, so uh, $200 you like to for mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, coach. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, you you said something two hundred dollar per night and four nine nine for a couple. I mean, can you two couples for the two couples? Okay. So um, the restaurant is very high located uh, on the Porsche area. It's like wonderful view for the ocean view, and okay, I'm I'm sure you're not gonna be uh, regret or anything. Uh, you don't like it. Right. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I have been to uh, places where, I mean, I have been to near the sea, near ocean, like Goa and other places in India. So, can you uh, accommodate us in a different hotel, which is somewhere in the proper city and uh, where we can, you know, just have some privacy? I mean, after 31st night, <laughs> do you have something? Yeah, we like? also recommended, uh, recommended to, uh, for the one night stay with the when you purchase. Uh, 31st night party. Uh, also, we recommended a uh, one night stay okay. in the same hotel. Two. Okay. Okay, that's great. So, for dinner, do we need to? Uh, is it arranged? What about dinner and champagne and what about the other activities? Yeah. Um, yeah. Included with all the food, uh, all the drinks, and uh, whatever uh, you like on the menu okay. everything uh, is included no extra external charges anything okay sounds extra charges for that mm -hmm. also yeah. the stay will be included too okay great, great. and if you have a kid still you can uh, we can babysit for uh, yeah. one person arrange for the babysitter and they can take care of the kids very well either that, too okay. so you don't need to worry about it mm -hmm. that's really nice caution that's really so nice of you so thank you. I've got the details here. So let me uh, have uh, think over it, and I would definitely mm -hmm. let you know sometime in the evening. Thank you so much, Kaushal. Um, thank you so much. Really pleasure nice talking to yeah, you. Same here. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Who's going to be next? Okay team, so thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate it. It was really nice to talk to Kumar, Kaushal and of course uh, Siddhant, you did not have a mic today. So we will continue this in tomorrow's session. And I really appreciate it. So did we have a look at the questionnaire that's your general questions? Let me give you an overview of all these questions, uh, team. See, once we start, we meet somebody in office or we meet them otherwise. So we ask these general questions like, what's your name? Please talk about your family background, your work experience, likes and dislikes to know them better. Also, we ask about hobbies, then we ask about their friends, uh, travel destination, all of this, okay? And then, uh, to know how they think, you know, we ask these specific questions as in what's your favorite book, who's the favorite author, like uh, what has been your biggest challenge so far, how does your life, uh, what would you say about your life, uh, you know, what is success? in your own uh, terms and how did you get so successful in such short time frames all of this to get to know how the person thinks on what uh, you know frame of mind they are and then we come to something that's very important which is interview related questions okay so i will go ahead and read these questions out quickly in case you have any difficult question to uh, write to me we'll take it forward from there so have you heard have you had any difficult work difficulty working with your manager this is the first question 
And then how do you handle pressure at work? Describe your working style. Do you take work home with you? How would you describe the pace at which you work? All of this. So there are a lot many questions here, which of course you could uh, go ahead and read it out. And then we move to open-ended and closed-ended question. Now, before we go ahead and check these questions out, I would like to define what is open-ended and what is closed-ended question. Okay. So open-ended questions will have elaborate answer and closed-ended questions have one word as answers, either yes, no, or maybe anything specific. So that is the definition for closed-ended question. Okay, so we'll do an exercise. Here are a few combination of open and closed ended questions. I'll ask you one of these questions. Write to me whether this question is open or closed ended. Fine. Are you feeling better today? Your response team, is it an open ended question or a closed ended? Okay, are you feeling better today is a closed ended question. Yes, I'm feeling better today. Fine. May I please have a bite of that pie? Is this an open ended question or a closed ended? Okay, closed ended. Fine. Thank you. Okay, are you happy? This is open or closed? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, open-ended because yes, answer can start off with like, no, I'm not happy and it then can stretch to, okay, the reasons that contribute to me not being happy or if somebody says, yes, I'm so happy today. So then they carry on from there. Okay, great. So uh, another question for what is, okay, what is the matter with people in that class? Now, is this question open or closed? What's the matter with the people in that class? Yeah, it is open-ended question. Okay, how exactly does one replace the screen or to a cell phone? How could you replace the screen? Okay, it's an open-ended. So great, guys. And then thank you, team, for your participation. I hope probing and questioning, which happens to be major factor that in fact impacts our effective communication skill, is clear to you all. So let's proceed with rapport building. Okay, so we'll start with repo, defining what is repo, a close and harmonious relationship in which people or groups concerned understand each other's feelings, ideas, and they communicate well. Fine team. So please make a note. I will uh, give you the keywords that are involved in repo building. So the first keyword, keyword is mutual understanding between two people is rapport. See, once you start understanding the other person, of course, you start, uh, you know, liking them and you start to build that strong and effective bond long term. So the first keyword is mutual understanding. Second is friendly. So you think all our relationships need to be friendly? Yes. Because the friendly part, the friends aspect, if it's missing from your official or otherwise relationships, they actually don't end up on a good note. So the second keyword is friendly. Third is rapport building will help you establish long term relationship. For, and the next one is smile and get humorous. You think that humor is a part of uh, any communication. I mean, effective. Of course, yes. If we are humorous, then we feel like, okay, getting engaged in long conversations with our friend, be it official or be it personal or any media communication. If it's not humorous, then we feel like, oh, okay, another day, we, I need to confront this person. So make every conversation humorous and, of course, look at them in their eye with a smile. Okay, the next keyword is, you, we need to check with the person on their likes and dislikes. And later, don't settle for less. That means 
we are we have to raise our standards and look forward to humorous events divine pleasure and love in our life so that is about when you raise your standards and just don't look at yourself in a very uh, you know low manner and in an inferiority uh, complex type of uh, you know just viewing yourself from that place so raise your standards and upgrade yourself so you see rapport building will also establish a creativity and innovation there'll be smileys and there'll be pictures that you'll be sharing offline there will be a lot of ideas that you both would be interacting uh, uh, you know about and getting to a conclusion wow this idea clicks so let's go ahead with this particular thing and then definitely making it so productive and uh, engaging having said that i hope uh, this particular rapo building is clear to everybody and the basic of rapo building is guys to, to make the other person feel joyous feel happy about connecting with us and uh, feeling satisfied that yeah i have made the right choice so that is about uh, establishing rapo okay so why is building rapo important would you buy from someone who you do not trust no you would definitely buy from someone who you trust right so the trust part is the basics of our rapo building so what is rapo it's a subconscious feeling of connection trust or simply a feeling that you could be understood so that's an overview of uh, rapo okay so here we go uh, students we'll do an exercise uh, give me 2 minutes i'll just uh, upload the file for you Okay team so can you see the screen it says rapo building sentences so the first one is nice to know that moving into a new house must be very exciting that sounds great let me know how i can best serve you sir so now what is this these are the sentences that you could use and make your communication skills so effective and strong okay So I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused. As I speak to you, I am updating the accounts details. Certainly, Mr. Smith, that could be done. I will do my best to help you, sir. Please give me a moment here. I completely understand what you're saying. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, what a pleasant surprise it is! Suppose you meet somebody after a long time and you never anticipated that you're going to see them. so use this sentence hey what a pleasant surprise it is okay so now that we know everything about rapo building and how important it is to maintain our long term relationship and this is a important criteria on for you to get on board and sustain in that particular job team see there are many people just because they are not effective they cannot put themselves uh, you know they cannot express themselves in an effective manner is when then when that they start doubting their capability and they cannot sustain in certain office and that's how you know you have to start looking out for another option look out for another job why not get trained on all these minimum things and then of course uh, to our 100% capacity and capability do our job to the 100% to the best of our abilities okay having said that students i would like to give you examples now what we would do is i would give you three uh, call mock call first one is albert second one is jennifer and the third one is uh, 
third okay the third one is pearl okay so now these are the three calls that i would be uh, re uh, talking to you people about now you have to just tell me on which call was maximum repo built call number 1 second of the third fine now let before i go ahead and start this mock call let me give you the scenario to this scenario is Albert is from Walmart online shopping. Everybody must be uh, knowing about Walmart. It's a happening shopping place in US and of course all across the world we know about Walmart. So Albert and Jennifer is again the other executive at Walmart online shopping and Paul happens to be the third executive. So we'll start the call. First one is with Albert. So Albert says, "Hi, this is Albert." from walmart online shopping can you give me the product code sir so there's this customer james so he says okay the product code is 6024 okay i see this item here shall i go ahead and place this order so he the customer acknowledges he says yes go ahead okay i've placed the order sir this particular product will be shipped to you within 3 to 4 business days is there anything else you want me to help you with the last part and then he says no that will be all okay team so this is the first call where albert spoke to the customer now the second call with jennifer hi this is jennifer welcome to walmart online shopping how may i help you today the customer says hi jennifer i'm james okay i like this pair of jeans that blue color could you go ahead and place the order so she says yeah i'd love to do that james So uh, the color that you mentioned is blue and what's the length and size so he gives the details so i will go ahead and place the order right away the amount is $99 and uh, this particular product will be shipped to you in 3 to 4 business days so the other additional part that she asks him is uh, can you give me the shipping address so she makes a note of the shipping address and gives the customer the details that this particular product will be shipped soon so is there anything else you want me to help you so he says no that'll be all okay so the first call was fine second call with jennifer was okay now the third call with pearl students hear me out hi this is pearl thank you for calling walmart online shopping how can i help you today so, so james says hi uh, this is james Uh, Pearl, I want to order a pair of jeans. Can you help me do that? So, sir, yes, James. Certainly, you've called the right place. I'll be glad to help you with that, uh, with placing the order. Could you please share the product code? So then he says six two zero four. Sure. I see that this particular product is a pair of jeans. It's blue color. Could you also mention length and size? So he gives the details. She notes it down and says, Sir, great. I see that this particular product is ninety-nine dollars. I also see that today, if you buy over hundred and fifty dollar, we give you a hundred dollar gift card coupon, which you could redeem in your next purchase. So this is the information that she gives. So he says, "Okay, that's great." So and Jennifer says, "Oh, sorry, yeah, Pearl." So Pearl says. <laughs> I uh, shall I go ahead and book this white shirt which would suit with blue color jeans which is for $50 additional so James says yes that's great that's a great offer could you go ahead and do that for me so she says okay fine so she makes that bill of $150 and then takes additional details so could you please help me with your shipping address this particular product jeans with white shirt would be shipped to you within 3 to 4 days Is there anything else that you want me to help you with? He says no. That'll be all. It was really great to talk to you, Paul. So then she says, "Fine, uh, enjoy your." And she also asks, "How would you like to make a payment through your credit or debit card, whatever?" So he says, "I would like to make a payment through my credit card." So she takes the details and then sends him off on a very good note. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. You have a lovely day ahead. So now I'm waiting for your response. We are waiting for response on who we like better. 
राइट यस कार्तिक नो आई जस्ट वांट टू नो द क्वेश्चन ओके राइट आई विल श्योर आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट अगेन द क्वेश्चन वाज हु बिल्ट द रेपो लाइक maximum repo with the customer and who do we think customer would like to interact with the next time he shops online on walmart with the first caller second or the third one okay that was the first uh, i mean that was the question that we i asked initially to to the team Yep, looks like most of them saying third person Pearl. I also see one response from Shagor saying, "I think Jennifer built more rapport, but she didn't use the opportunity to suggest additional sales." Right, right. I think again, like you saying, Priya and team. Here's what happens. Now let's say I come here, and we have like a few dozen participants in this session today. I say, hey guys, can you give me ten thousand rupees? Maybe you trust us. You know Karthik, then you would do it. Why? You already know me. You already have built relationship or trust on us, and you would put it. So sales comes next, guys. Rapo building comes first. Relationship building comes first. And when we talk about sales, it is not product sales or services sales only. Each of us. as we do our daily work we are selling constantly to our coworkers our team leads our managers our organization clients everyone that's where sales is we constantly keep selling our sales on a daily basis so that becomes very important as to how do we first create the relationship and trust and then everything can happen from there and that's an amazing point in terms of communication yes great karthik thank you so much yeah, i would like to be a second on this so first is trust and relationship building and second we go ahead and of course do the selling part so team any questions uh, in the first bit of it where we started with probing and the second part which is repo if you have any questions please let us know Okay, sales person. Fine. So here we have uh, sales person trust. So once we start trusting people, is then when we uh, start buying eventually uh, from that person. and we will go ahead with this a uh, body language set context to communication match and mirror in tomorrow session uh, team i really enjoyed uh, talking to you people and it was a, a very interactive session today finally i want to see that wake up and be positive use affirmations and that's how you will kick start your day bright and beautiful be that love in action be the spiritual warrior be 100% committed and consistent to the path to thrive and to make a difference in this world thank you so much kartik and uh, this is priya signing out on behalf of it e learn for any further queries you can write to me at priya it e learn at gmail.com Thank you so much team have a pleasant evening ahead Thank you Priya uh, so uh, Priya before we end up last comment i saw one from Kumar he said can we also expect in american accent now here is my my personal feeling about an accent today we going to get into more and more globalized society our english does not have to be accented our english must be clear it should be something that is understandable across the globe that is more important thing so having a good accent and bad english or grammar does not make sense 
let's start with good communications good grammar uh, good uh, you know like Pia was saying talking about relationship trust and so on accent should something that should happen to you let's say you go for masters in US yes you will start picking up accent more quicker why because you interact a lot with the American students and so on at a very young age but now for example I moved to US in 2005 and I could never pick up an American accent a few words here and there so guys forget the accent focus on the communication overall and accent if it will happen it will for a period of time thank you so much team thanks Priya thank you Karthik thank you team. until we connect next bye bye